Hey everyone, this is Momo with Fast PPT. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to make this awesome presentation using PowerPoint. We're gonna be working on multiple amazing tutorials just like this one. So before we get started, trust me, you're not gonna to wanna to miss this or any of the other presentations we have coming up. So subscribe and hit the little bell button so you're in the loop and you're the first to know. All right, let's get started. First, we're gonna insert an oval and then we're going to fill it with a gray color and then remove the outline. Then we're gonna to go to the effects tab. Okay, look, we're gonna see this Pentagon looking button and then we're gonna click it and then we're going to see under the shadow option, we'll have a few different kinds of shadows to choose from. Then we'll add this here inside the center shadow to the oval. So now I'm gonna make this really cool looking oval shape live and I want you to pay close attention to the steps so that you can replicate. We're going to use either Control or Command D to make a copy. Then we're gonna make this copy a little bit smaller. We're gonna align this copy one to the right. Then we're gonna make another copy and make it smaller, align right again, and now we're gonna group them all together. You're gonna to find out what this is for later, so don't worry about it too much right now. Now, I'm gonna change the slide background to a darker color. I'm wearing blue, so we're gonna choose a dark blue background. And now we're gonna make a copy of this grouped oval and then place it over here like this. We're gonna to go to the shape format and then we're going to click the triangle button and then we're gonna to click to flip horizontal. Now I'm going to insert a shape that we call a block arc. We're gonna insert it here between the two ovals like so. And then we're going to fill it with a gradient color to make sure we have a really nice contrast. We'll change this color here point to a dark gray and then the other point to a light gray. And then we're gonna change the gradient type to radial. And then we're gonna choose the direction from center. As we usually do, you'll notice as a theme, we're always getting rid of the outline. We'll do the same thing here. Now, you're gonna notice that we have a shape that resembles a binder. And so I'm gonna group this shape so that we can easily move it and duplicate it and do whatever we want with it. Then I'm going to insert a rectangle. We're gonna fill it with white and then remove the outline. We're going to make a copy of it as well. And look, it's going to look like the inside page of a book. Now we're gonna right click and then send it all the way to the back. Then we're gonna duplicate this group shape a few times and it's going to start to give us that effect of an open notebook. And that's exactly what we're looking for. Now we're gonna duplicate this slide and I'm gonna make four copies. So in total, we're gonna to have five slides that look like this. You're gonna notice you have two pages per slide and then you can add content either story tell from left to right, or you can compare and contrast different points of view. I'm gonna make my slide look like a storybook and then add a nice little feather because I'm feeling a little bit classy. Now that I've finished all the content, right click on any slide and choose select all. Go to the transitions tab, click the arrow down button and find the page curl effect. After applying this effect, when I start the slideshow, my presentation will now have a page turning effect. And that's it, y'all. Go impress with this trick, and we'll see you back here soon with more from Fast PPT.